Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Now, I am on holiday at the moment, and uh, I've been spending most of my time watching the Football World Cup, or soccer, as you call it, over in the USA. Now, I have uh, managed to spend a little bit of time on the 3.2 PTU, which is now open for everyone to try out. Now, as you can see, I'm on the 600i on the bridge here, and, uh, well, it's the most spectacular view uh, from a bridge in the game. Absolutely great visibility. Now, I have uh, managed to test a few of the ships which are new in 3.2, and uh, so far, I've been impressed with what I've seen. Now I tried the Anvil Hurricane, which is of course a uh, ship uh, where you can have another player in the rear cockpit. And you will need that other player uh, to actually uh, work that turret. You can't slave that one uh, from the pilot seat. Obviously in the future you uh, may be able to have an AI man the turret. But uh, yep, the Anvil uh, Hurricane, I uh, quite enjoyed having a little quick fly around uh, around Port Olisar in that ship. Now next up, I tried the uh, Aegis Avenger, the rework. Now basically, it looks exactly the same um, as the Avenger we know and love, but of course, it's longer. And of course, what is different is what's on the inside. Now basically, with the old Avenger, um, you basically had to stoop around like Quasimodo to get through some of the internal doors. But now, there's a lot more room inside this ship, and uh, that obviously applies to all three of the Avenger variants. Next up, I uh, managed to uh, briefly have a fly around in the sexy B2 inspired stealth torpedo bomber, the Aegis Eclipse. Now, this one does look very sexy indeed, and uh, it's got a very low profile. So, unless you uh, see this ship coming or pick it up on your sensors, it's going to be ideal for a surprise torpedo run on a, a larger ship. Very nice indeed. Now, there are some new features in 3.2, and uh, one of them is, of course, um, the way quantum drive works, uh, how you actually have to uh, spool up the drive, and uh, before you can go into uh, quantum travel. this goes hand in hand with the new way of actual 
grouping people together. You can actually quantum drive together. And uh, I think they deal with that in this week's Around the Verse, where you actually have to uh, face a player head on and add them to your your uh, group or contacts list. And uh, then you're all set to uh, go quantum driving across the Stanton system together. Now, I did have a go at the main new feature uh, in 3.2, and that is uh, mining, of course, with the uh, Miss Prospector. Now, I must admit, I wasn't very successful uh, uh, during uh, this uh, first attempt at mining because I didn't really have a clue what I was doing. So uh, I actually watched a video uh, from uh, Tactical Advance and uh, he explains that very well, what you're supposed to do uh, when you actually mine the rocks on the moons in the Stanton system. Also, I did notice a improvement in the way the moons are actually uh, uh, displayed graphically. They're obviously making ongoing improvements to uh, the procedurally generated uh, moons. So uh, we are obviously going to see ongoing improvements on that front. But uh, mining is certainly something which is going to pass the hours uh, when people actually play 3.2. It's not going to be a quick process, but uh, for those who are into mining, it could well be very rewarding indeed. Now, but I believe there is um, another type of mission uh, in 3.2, a uh, destroy uh, like a space station or objects mission, which I've not yet managed to try. But uh, that's certainly uh, a welcome addition uh, for things to do uh, in 3.2. So overall, I found the performance in 3.2 improved. Obviously, uh, I was testing on the PTU, and it does actually vary uh, with the server, as we know, uh, with Star Citizen. Um, but obviously, there has been some tweaks um, uh, to this build, and uh, hopefully, uh, when we get 3.3 and the object container streaming and the bind culling, we will see some drastic improvements in the frame rate. So that's just a quick update from me. Um, pretty impressed with what I've seen, to be honest. There's ongoing improvements. Obviously, a long way to go yet, but uh, this is what we want to see. Ongoing improvements through the year and, uh, well... Things are looking very good indeed. Well, I'm going back now to enjoy my holiday and watch some more World Cup football. And things are looking very good for England. So far, anyway. Bye for now.